Why do we have sex? I raised this question in a recent blog and explained that I believe intimacy motivates most sex. But a research report entitled, Why Humans Have Sex, offers other reasons and compares how men and women decide when to hit the sheets. Subjects in this study were presented with 237 possible reasons for intercourse. Everything from pleasure to reproduction to revenge to pity. Then they rated how frequently each of these reasons led them to have sex in the past. Naturally, the results broke down a bit differently by gender. Researchers found significant differences on 52% of the questions. Of course, not all men or all women are the same, but the gender gap is notable enough here for an interesting discussion. Women, for example, were more likely to have sex because they were in love or because they wanted to express their love. Supporting the long-held theory that women prefer sex within a committed relationship. Of course, committed doesn't mean monogamous to everyone. I'm certainly not shattering any stereotypes when I report that men were more motivated by what some call non-emotional reasons, like wanting to achieve an orgasm because it felt good or because they were horny. However, don't start judging us yet, ladies. Out of all the questions related to love and commitment and expression, women only noted a higher frequency in the two sentiments I just mentioned. On the other 11 questions in this category, women answered no differently than men. So, you're only 15% holier than us. Men also place more importance on physical appearance, which isn't really surprising to anyone who watches TV, or to scientists who've long thought that men prioritize physical attraction because of what a woman's body suggests about her fertility. I must admit that I've never looked at a woman and thought, I don't want to have sex with her. She might not be able to carry children to term successfully. But to each his own, right? The study also found more men like to have sex for utilitarian reasons, like to change the subject, to get a favor from someone, or to improve their sexual skills. Also, men were likely to seek increased social status by having multiple partners. But honestly, this takes us back to the chicken and the egg conundrum. Which came first, more women or more status? You can read this research report as well as the unabridged version of this blog at franklove.tv. I look forward to hearing your thoughts. And as always, here's to you being a powerful person in a partnership. Until next time, keep rising. This is Frank Love.